Hey guys, I'm Justy, and this is my guitar tutorial for O'Donna by Richie Valens from my YouTube channel, GuitarMadeEasy.com, where I show you how to play your favorite songs. And uh, if you like oldies, well, you've come to the right place. Oh, and um, if you want the tab to the song, I tabbed it out, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and post it on my Patreon. If you want to check it out, head over to my Patreon where I have this tab and plenty more from a lot of my other videos. I'll put a link in the description below, so go check it out. And uh, let's begin. The very first thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard E tuning. This song has two parts, and that's it. Just a few chords you gotta know, but the hardest part is knowing your bar chords and having the finger strength to do them. The chords in this song are your F, your B flat, and your C. And the last chord is an F7, so you have an F bar chord, and then you take your pinky off. It just sounds a little bit different compared to Hear the difference right there. It's a blues chord. The first part of the song is the verse, which is used a ton, and it just goes over and over and over again. And what it is, is it's your F chord, and then your B flat, and then your C. So for my F, I was barring the entire first fret. I take my pinky, I put that on the third fret on the D string, ring finger is going to go on the third fret on the A string, and my middle finger is going to go on the second fret on the G string, and I make all those strings ring. The next chord is going to be my B flat, which I'm taking my pointer finger again and barring that first string. And then I take my ring finger and I'm playing the third fret on the D, the G, and the B string. Right there. This E string is muted by the pad of my ring finger. I'm just not really giving it tension on the pad of my finger once my finger gets to that, that E string right there. So, right there, only the notes that I want to ring are ringing. I'm also muting this E string with the tip of my pointer finger. You can't even hear it because the tip of my pointer finger is touching it so it doesn't ring. But I still may hit it sometimes. And then I just move this shape up to the 3rd and 5th fret, and it gives me a C. Now this whole song is strummed in triplets. Instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So you're strumming your F major chord 12 times, and then you go to your B flat 6 times, and then your uh, C chord 6 times as well. So it sounds like this. B flat, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all over again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, B flat, C, F, B flat, C. Now that's pretty much the whole song right there. But where it changes is at one point, and this leads into the, I guess you could call it like the, uh, the interlude or the bridge of the song, um, but it leads into this next part and it goes like this. F, B flat, C, F, B flat, F. Then you take your pinky off and it makes that F7 we were talking about. And now we have this part and you strum it 24 times each. So each chord you strum 24 times. So it's a ton of triplets. So watch here. So it goes B flat. To F. Back to B 
flat. And then we go to C. Remember, 24 times I'm strumming all these chords. And then I go back to the regular chord progression. F. E flat. C. F. B e flat. C. And that's it, guys. That's the whole song. It's really not too complicated. Now, one more thing I want to show you. So if those bar chords are a little bit too much for you, you can still play the song if you have a capo. Put the capo on the third fret and your F chord is now a D chord. And your B flat chord is now a G chord. And your C chord is now an A chord. And then remember that bluesy chord, the only other chord you gotta know, it's like your D, but we're going to make like a backwards D. So instead of having, um, let's see here, we're going to take our ring finger, put that on the E string at the second fret after the capo. You're going to take your middle finger, put that at the second fret on the G string, and then your pointer finger is going to go on the first fret on the B string, open D string. That's your F7 chord. But the whole song can now be played without making bar chords. So you can play E, G, A, D, e, G, A. I hope you get the point. You guys are awesome. I want you to know that. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below. And I don't want you to miss any video that I post. So please subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next guitar lesson. Thanks for watching. Keep rocking.